Hey friend, I'm Arabazi. Welcome back to another episode of XCOM Enemy Within the Long War. So, let's continue where we left off. We're about to finish laser rifles. Finally! It's really about time. So, the next mission will hopefully be with laser weapons. And yes, it will be. So, I still need some more laser weapons. But I'm not sure if I can afford making them. Let's see. I would like at least one Gatling laser, but that's 60 credits. I could maybe get 60 credits. If I sell more corpses? But I don't know about that. Let's see, 32... Yeah, I think I'll just wait a little bit longer. I could sell UFO flight computer. But I'm not sure if I really want to do that. Can I launch any satellites? Oh yeah, I'm still making the satellite. Two more days. Alright then. So, oh, this is still a thing. I so don't want to do this mission, but apparently the game really wants me to go try it. Here's the thing though, I just don't think the rewards are worth it for how hard this mission can be. But okay, let's do it then. The only problem right now is that most of my soldiers are fatigued. Which means I have to bring fatigued soldiers or I have to bring mostly rookies. I don't even have enough rookies. Okay, we'll bring the engineer and the assault. Because, yeah, they are not fatigued, <laughs> so there's that. I could bring maybe one rookie. The rookies with 66 aim are not too bad. Alright, let's bring two rookies. But I need to fill the remaining slots with three fatigued soldiers. So I have engineer and assault. I kind of need a medic in here. So... She can come. 61 aim, 65 aim, and 6 hit points. 48 will. Okay, let's bring her. That covers the medic. I would like one infantry. I wouldn't mind a gunner. I could bring a rocketeer. Okay, let's bring a rocketeer. Actually, hold on. Let's not bring a rocketeer. I do have quite a few infantry. 82 aim. 19 hours. 82 aim is nice. And 37 will. 33 will. 72 aim. I like the high defense. Okay, let's bring this guy. That leaves us with one slot. I could kick out one of the rookies, but... I don't want to bring too many fatigued soldiers. We have engineer, assault, medic, infantry. I probably want a scout for this. In fact, I definitely want a scout for this. So, this guy is coming. Alright, let's give them proper equipment then. I have four laser rifles. So, I need to be careful about who's going to get them. What about this guy? I would like to bring some flashbang grenades. In fact, flashbang grenades are great. So, that gives him 67... Uh, 74 aim. See, one thing I don't like about laser rifle is how... Tactical info does not mention that this weapon gives you plus 7 aim, and it should. This is where you get the exact numbers on all the weapons. But it says nothing about that. So if you don't know that this gives you plus 7 aim, then it's not mentioned anywhere. And in my opinion, it should be. It's not a huge problem, but if you're not aware that this give you plus 7 aim, then yeah. You just need to know this. Because the game doesn't tell you. Anyway, next up. Infantry. He will grab laser rifle. Tactical armor. Shotgun. Maybe I don't need laser sight for this. Let's see. I could give him a medkit. That will make him partially immune to acid. That might not be a terrible idea. And AP grenade. High explosive grenade. I could actually give him laser sight and a medkit. Okay, that's 84 aim with both. That's fine. Next up, we got the medic. I got two more laser rifles. So, let's see. My engineer probably needs the laser rifle. And by probably, I mean she definitely needs the laser rifle. And my medic can grab it. Alright. And I think that's it. Actually, no. 
Tactical Armor instead of the Vest. Ceramic Plating. Yeah, she only has 3 hit points. So she kind of needs the Ceramic Plating. But I'll grab... The Flashbang Grenade. Yeah, let's bring some more Flashbang Grenades. They are so good. How many is that? That's 5 Flashbang Grenades. Alright. Any more changes here? What about this AP grenade? I think I prefer high explosive for this mission instead. Because I can use that to get rid of cover. In fact, maybe I should bring more high explosive grenades. I could give my scout one, ex one high explosive grenade. So, three high explosive grenades and three flashbang grenades? That's not a bad combo. Alright, let's go with that then. So... Three high explosive grenades and three flashbang grenades. I like that. That's actually four high explosive grenades because my engineer will have two each. I might even bring four high explosive grenades on my engineer. Maybe. Okay, let's go with that. And I think we're ready each. I used all the laser rifles. What about the rookies? Maybe they should use the Carbine instead for plus 7 aim. Yeah, that's going to be slightly more useful. Their aim is a little bit on the low side otherwise. Okay, let's go. I have a bad feeling about this mission, but yeah. If we're careful enough, it should be doable. I mean, I might still fail the mission because the guy that I'm supposed to escort might die. But I'm okay with that. The important part is to not lose anyone here. That's even more important than actually completing this mission successfully. Not losing any soldiers. I will not be taking any unnecessary risks, that's for sure. Now, how do I want to do this? I assume this mission will have more thin men than the non-long war version. So, I want to be careful here. I'm not going to move too much, I'll move slowly and carefully. I could follow the wall. The zone wall on the right side. And that's a pretty good idea. I don't want to trigger too many Thirmen at once. Because, yeah, that would end poorly for me, most likely. That would definitely end poorly for me. Okay, so we'll send everyone here. And just follow the zone wall. Yeah, I can hear the Thirmen moving around. <laughs> yep. This is going to be a lot of Thirmen. There's usually a group... On the other side of this building, right here. So I assume that's going to be the case, because that's pretty much always the case. Let's see, this is full cover, so that's nice. I can use this as cover, this is not super amazing. So let's move a tiny little bit closer, but not too much. The one problem with this squad is that I don't have a gunner, which means I won't have suppression, and my scout does not have holo targeting. Or does he? No, he does not. So I do not have holo targeting in here. Which might be a problem. But I do have some soldiers with decent aim. My infantry has what, 84 aim? Yes, I hear that. Okay, let's move into proper positions now. Come on. Yeah, this is going to be a lot of thin men. Right here. Will we trigger anything? No. Okay, that's good. We can position ourselves and then maybe pull a group of hillmen towards us. I might do exactly that with a rookie. <laughs> a rookie is going to be bait. Grats on your new role. <laughs> I don't think she's going to be very happy about that role. Probably not. But unfortunately for her, I'm not giving her a choice here. So what about the infantry? This is... Where's the assault? Okay, this guy is assault. He doesn't need to be there. This is a good location for my infantry instead. Alright, but I'll skip one more turn. Oh, there we go. That's the first group of Thinmen. And if I get lucky, I might kill that one. No? Oh well, whatever. That's only two Thinmen. Didn't trigger anything else. That's good. One more reaction shot. Come on. Nope. Three misses. Oh well. That's fine. At least I only triggered two Thinmen, that's good. I don't want to get too many at once. 
So I'll just wait for them to come to me. Yep. And hold my positions. Oh, another group incoming. Okay, never mind about only triggering one. <laughs> yeah, and I was very careful here. Oh well. That's five thin men already. Not fantastic. I could try to flank some of them with my assault. Not on this turn, but maybe on the next one. I can open this door. Although that's not super useful. Right, what can we do then? I can move closer and either take a shot or use a grenade or hunker down. Let's move a little bit closer. I can't destroy any cover. Actually, yes, I can destroy cover. But do I want to waste a grenade for just one thin man? I could probably kill this one. I do want to quote unquote waste a grenade because I have five thin men right now. I need to kill at least one or two. Okay, he's... Oh, this was indestructible cover. Okay, that was a bit of a waste then. Let's try to kill that guy. Down he goes. For damage. So that wasn't a wasted grenade. That damage actually helped. Reload. My infantry will be constantly low on ammo, probably. Because I didn't bring the extra munition. So now it's time for overwatch party, I think. Yep. So here they come. Would be nice to kill one with the reaction shot. No? He didn't do anything. Okay. Let's see now. 48%. Oh, I have one more rookie back here. Right, because I had seven soldiers. <laughs> Alright. 28%. Yeah, that's a little bit too low. That's way too low. Let's just move here. I think I'll get one thin man on the roof. Like, on the next turn or something like that. 24%. Let's take a shot with the rookie. Come on. Well, that's not exactly what I had in mind, but okay. My infantry can't see the thin man. And Shane can't see the thin man either. I would have to move the infantry. What about the medic? No. What? Almost no one can see that stupid thin man? Really? That's a little bit annoying. I might just wait for him then. Okay. So hunker down on anyone that was already spotted by the thin man and overwatch on other soldiers he can't see. Oh, he's trying to flank my rookie. Can he fire from here? He can. Well, rip rookie. Oh well, whatever. Didn't think he would be close enough to actually move all the way there and still be able to fire. But apparently I was wrong. So that leaves me with six soldiers. Hey, the rookie got to use the grenade before she died. Kind of sucks, but oh well. I still got six. But if it starts looking too dangerous, I will probably abort this mission. Oh yeah, great. Now my infantry is panicking. Seriously, dude? That sucks. How do we do this now? Am I close enough to throw flashbang? Maybe. I need to kill this thing on the right side. If he doesn't die, he will probably kill someone. I can kind of flank him, but not really. I could throw a grenade, but this is just a high explosive grenade. Not so useful. Yeah, my assault is kind of useless here. I could flank these guys, but if there are more thin men on the left side, he's kind of screwed. I can maybe move here and throw a flashbang, but the problem with that is that then I have to kill this thin man on the right side. Sucks that my infantry is panicking. This is bad. Smoke grenade. Yeah, this is pretty bad. Okay, let's move. This will trigger overwatch, but I didn't really have a big choice there. I'll just take some damage to the face. And now I can hit this guy. 84%. Okay, that's one thin man down. The engineer was not fatigued. So there's that. Now I can move my assault and throw a flashbang grenade. So let's do that. I can hit them both with the flashbang grenade. So that's what we're doing. This thin man on the right side might still be able to move far enough to flank my assault. 
So this is technically a little bit risky still. But I have to take a few risks if I want to do this mission. Okay, I need to reposition my rookie now. I can actually take a shot with the rookie. 43% is not awful. Let's try that. I might hit. Yeah, not bad. I could almost kill the thin man, but I can't. They are still trying to flank me. So what is he going to do? Can he flank my assault? I don't think he can. Oh, he's firing at my engineer. Right. I need to kill my engineer. Like, soon. And by soon I mean right now. 54%. Okay. Twice. Now. One more. Not miss. Oh, come on. Two misses. Damn it, dude. Your aim sucks. 32%. I could use running gun. Oh, where is that second thing, man? Has to be somewhere, like, right here. Okay, let's do something slightly risky. And do it like this. Okay, there's the second thin man. But I'm not flanking him. Damn it. Let's not take a shot just yet. And see what my options are. 40% chance to hit. Nope. Seriously? Come on, how many times am I going to miss? This is not going to be a kill. Because that's just an assault carbine. But I could throw a high explosive grenade. Which is not necessarily what I want to do. Okay, this is nice full cover. Let's move up here then. So I can either throw a grenade or take a shot. Problem with throwing a grenade is that this tank will blow up if I do that. Oh, I can't even see any targets. That was a bad turn. I can move out of here now. Let's try to kill the Thirman in the back. Nope. Well, that didn't work. Negative yeah, negative damage. In the end, I can't kill anything on this turn, it seems. Yeah, 38% only. So many missed shots on this turn. And some of them had a pretty good chance to hit. I'll have to throw this stupid grenade now. I could throw another flashbang, but that's way too many flashbangs wasted already. I guess I don't have a choice. My assault might still die on the next turn, but so many misses on this turn. Oh well. Whatever, another flashbang. But rip assault, I think. They can't move a lot with the disorient effect, but they can move at least a few tiles easily. Oh, suppression. Okay. Oh, there's a sectoid back there. Right. And... Did he hit? No, he did not hit. Now I have to kill some of them. I can trigger the overwatch with my scout. He might still get killed through it, unfortunately. <laughs> but, yeah. You can't rely on lightning reflexes, which kind of sucks. But let's trigger it anyway. This will be very low chance to hit, but it can hit. Okay, he missed. Now I can throw a grenade. That's probably the most damage I can do with this guy. What's his chance to hit otherwise? 44%. I had so many misses on the previous turn that I would like to get some guaranteed damage this time. This might kill the thin man on top. Come on. Okay, it did not. Wait, no, it did? Yes, I killed that one. Nice. So do I need to move out of the way? No, I don't. I could kill the sectoid with a shot to the face. But if I'm going to do that, I need to make sure that I'll kill the other thin man. So let's see. Where do I move to actually be able to take a shot? I can take a shot from here, but that's a little bit low. If I move here, I won't be able to see the thin man. I don't think so. I don't know anymore. Well, let's try. Okay, I can see him. 39%. Come on, dude. Wow, this dude missed four times in a row now? That's just bad. Yes, wait, that just happened. You need to go back to your training, apparently. Here, rookie. Show him how it's done. Now? Come on, now. 
I could still throw a grenade, but that's not going to kill them, I don't think so. I got four high explosive grenades on my engineer. Do we do this then? Okay, screw it. Let's throw that grenade. If I get really lucky, that might do enough damage to kill them. Okay, the Thirman is down. Now I can kill the Sectoid myself. I would prefer not to trigger anything. But I need 100% chance to hit. So... Let's run up here. I will not get poisoned. And... Can I use the Sword of Shotgun? I should be able to. Okay, that's a kill. Bye. RIP. Okay, that was not a fantastic set of turns. I could have done that better. But we're mostly alive. Except that rookie. <laughs> yeah. Shut up, dude. We're busy here. Can't you see? Are you done? Okay, now I need to heal my engineer. So, come here. I still have all six uses of the medkits, so... That's fine. Apparently I wasn't close enough. Do I want to do this twice? Maybe, but six hit points should be okay. Alright, let's reload everything. I don't want to move too close just yet. I might get a Thirman on the roof here. I thought I will, but I didn't. Alright, let's reload the Sword of Shotgun and the regular Shotgun too. I'll just chill back here while I'm reloading. There's no huge rush. We're not on a timer. Yeah, there's another group inside that building or on top of that building. If I open this door, I'll probably see something. Let's finish reloading first. So, reload the shotgun. I do have a lot of ammo, but might as well reload it. Like so. And, alright, now we can position ourselves a little bit better than this. You will go here. And I could position someone on the roof. But I don't have anyone with squad sight. Or anything similar. So that's not really so useful. I can set my assault there. Oh, he can't move anymore because he reloaded his weapon, right. This is just a rookie. She can stay somewhere in here. And my medic. No, this is engineer, not medic. She can go here. This can also be opened. Yep. And... I think that's it. Alright. I have no idea how many Thin Men I'll have to kill in this mission. Probably close to 20. Let's just take our time to position ourselves properly. And I'll bring my assault here. So... You can just run in here or whatever. Go, go, go. Run faster. Harder. Alright, skip one more turn. I'm not in a rush. I just want to do this mission. Without losing any more soldiers. Losing a rookie is not a big deal, but ultimately that means... I'll have to hire another rookie, so spend money. I could send this guy up here. But no, that's not useful for anything. Alright. Let's take a look then. I will probably see something like this, no? Okay. So I guess there's a group either inside that building or on the other side of that building. Do I want to finish healing myself? I mean, I still got five more uses of the medkit. Yes, so I probably should. Okay, let's do that. That's not the most optimal use of the medkit, but... That will give me eight hit points on the engineer. Skip one more turn. Oh, did someone need a reload? Did I see that right? No. They don't need any reloads. Alright, let's keep moving then. You there, scout ahead. Okay, there's nothing. Let's move slowly and carefully. <laughs> Very carefully. I should send someone to the roof. But maybe later. This is cover, I suppose. So that works. Still nothing. Yeah, there's going to be a group on the other side of this building. That's for sure. Anyone else? Oh, yeah. So, dash here. 
This is the assault guy. Overwatch. I think that's one more group, and then I'll get more thin men once I start escorting the guy. Would be best if that group ran into me, but I think that might be a static group. I think I clicked the wrong tile there. Yeah, I did. Alright then. I'll take my time with this. Dash here. Nothing inside. This is cover. This guy had a really bad time. And... Not a lot of cover around here, unfortunately. I might just stay back there. For a turn. Yeah, let's just keep some of these people back here. I'm okay with that. Oh, here they come. Okay, that's going to be the last group of Hillman, I think. Not in this mission, I mean, before I start the actual escort. Okay, so do I use the roof now? Maybe. Problem is they can just jump up here. And if I position myself right here, that's not super useful. Because I won't be able to hit targets on the street. This is nice full cover. There's not amazing amounts of full cover around here. I'll have to position myself like this. Okay, I can actually see something. Oh yeah, but this guy is assault. So that's not really useful. He can chill back here. Yeah, I need to totally reposition myself. Where's the infantry? There he is. Come here, dude. Yes, I'm talking to you. Wake up. You can move here. I can still have two soldiers on the roof, maybe, just in case one thin man jumps up there. I can still move here and use Overwatch. Alright, let's do that then. This is just a rookie, so that's fine. Just a rookie, she can die. <laughs> I bet that's good for her morale. But she can't hear it. I wonder what these thin men are going to do. Hmm. I could move through this building, and that might work. I just don't want to trigger more aliens by doing this. And I'm not 100% sure that this is in fact the last group before the escort part. Okay, I can see him, but let's not fire. Overwatch, so let's see what they're going to do. There he is. So I'll kill him. Now. Alright. Yes, you did. What is he doing? Don't use that stupid acid cloud. Yeah. Come on. I hate that crap. That's the most infuriating part of the long war so far. I prefer the vanilla poison mechanics, to be honest. So my assault is fairly close. I can probably kill that one thin man. Oh no, my assault is inside the acid cloud. Right. How the heck do we do this then? 46%. Not awful. That's fairly decent actually. Oh, my infantry can see that thin man. Okay, let's try. This guy missed so many times. There we go. At least he hit something. Grass dude. You didn't miss every single shot in this mission. There we go. Two hits in a row. Holy crap. He's on a roll. Now he's going to miss 20 times in a row. Let's move out of line of sight perhaps. Or I could just bait them into using Acid Cloud. Okay, hunker down then. And she needs to move up here or something. Alright. I could throw a grenade from the roof. Which is also not a terrible idea. But we'll see what they are going to do. Just Overwatch. So come here. Here's the first one. No. Okay. Oh yeah, the two soldiers inside the acid cloud are also on Overwatch. What is he doing? He's trying to hit someone and he succeeded. What was that? That was the assault. Yeah, that was kind of unlucky. Was he behind high cover? I suppose it doesn't matter anymore. One of these locations was only partial cover. Yeah, he was behind partial cover. So that's two lost soldiers in this mission so far. And this mission is just not worth it. Even if I finish it. 
But now I kind of have to finish it. Okay, nice damage there. Let's see, but I'm out of ammo. Reload. Any grenades? No. Take a shot. No, that's way too low chance to hit. I could move closer. Can we kill the thin man inside the building? Hmm. No, I can't throw the grenade with my engineer. Unless I move down here. Okay, here's how it's going to work. We'll move down here. Throw a high explosive grenade. Which should destroy his cover. That's the plan. And I might be able to do one damage to the guy on the left, no? I don't think I can. Yes, I actually can. Like this. This should do one damage to the Thirman on the left. And it will kill him. And it will destroy cover for the one on the right. Like this. Perfect. And now I can... No, it didn't destroy cover. Okay, but I killed one Thirman. Now, can I kill that one? Probably not. Yeah, 18%. That's not going to happen, clearly. I still got my rookie up here. I can't get a flanking shot, unfortunately. I can run down here and try to take a shot. I could still throw a flashbang grenade, but I don't want to waste flashbang grenade for just one thin man, which I'm probably about to regret. But this mission is not quite done, not even remotely close to done. Reload. And this guy. Can this guy take a shot at anything useful? Maybe, maybe not. No, I don't think he can. Well, he can from here, but he only has partial cover. And I really don't want to lose him. I need more full cover around here, but there's just none. I can't move him anywhere useful. Alright, well, he can stay here. I don't think that Thinman can flank anyone, but I've been wrong about that before. Oh, come on. Rip. Yep, well, not rip just yet. Yeah, they can move a lot and still be able to fire. I always misjudge their range. Which is one of the reasons I hate them. Well, at least no one ripped. So that's kind of useful. Now we have to kill this guy. Bye. Rest in pieces. Medic! Medic! <laughs> we need medical attention! <laughs> yeah! Okay, Overwatch. Who was that, anyway? Who was that? Oh yeah, that's the engineer, right. Oh, I already healed her before. Wow, she tanked so much damage during this mission. Alright, well, we will heal her up. Do I have any more med kits other than the ones on my medic? Oh yeah, I do have one on my infantry. I'll keep that one. Just to spread them out a bit. Okay, back to full health. Let's move on then. So now we need to do the actual escort. I think I killed all the thin men before the actual escort part. But I'm not 100% sure about this. So I'm not going to do anything stupid. Especially now when I'm down to only 5 soldiers. I'm also down to three med kits, which is not amazing. Our engineer tanked like most of the damage in this mission, other than the dead soldiers. Alright then, so let's slowly move towards the guy that we're supposed to escort. I'll keep proper cover, stay on overwatch, there he is. Yeah, yeah, life signs in the area, that's us, among other things. We still show some life signs, fortunately. Not all of us. Alright, I'm not going to dash for that guy. I need to position some of my soldiers on the roof before I trigger the escort. So, for example, my infantry. Yes. He'll go there. Not exactly here, but I'll position him properly on the next turn. And my scout could also go there. Yeah, I think so. Maybe the rookie? No, let's send the scout up there. Especially since he can move a lot, so he can get back down quickly. Sounds good enough to me. Okay, so skip this turn still. There's no huge rush, I'm going to position myself properly. So infantry will go here or so. And scout will go where exactly? Somewhere around here. I think I'll get a thin man 
in this area or something. I don't remember the exact locations where they arrive once you start the escort. I might actually send the rookie up here. Okay, let's send the rookie though. And three soldiers on the roof should be enough. That's definitely going to be enough. Okay then, now we need some proper cover for everyone else. So, somewhere around here. And who's going to trigger the escort? I guess she will. Alright. She's hardcore, she can do it. No more aliens. Skip the turn and make sure I position myself properly. Yes, we know there's someone alive. It's hard to not notice, you know. People got killed. You can thank me later for that analysis. Okay, position that rookie properly. Where will she go? Let's see. I can position the scout here. And the rookie will use full cover. Okay, that looks reasonable. Or she can move up here, maybe. That actually seems to be a little bit better. But I want to spread out a little bit more. Do not take Acid Cloud to the face on two different soldiers at once. Okay, let's do it then. I have a bad feeling about it. But we're doing it. So let's get started. Alright, let's move then. So I need to keep this guy safe. This looks reasonable enough. Alright, yeah, this is going to be awful. I need to get him here, to the evac zone. I don't like only having four soldiers for this, I really don't. Okay, Overwatch, incoming. I will definitely have some Thinmen here, yep. So that's the first one. And here's the second one, okay. Did he die? Yes, he died. I heard the poison cloud. And here's the third one. That's a hit. Okay, that was pretty good. I killed two Thinmen with my reaction shots, awesome. And I'm flanking this guy, so I positioned myself properly. So, 73%. Nice. And I need one more hit there. Let's see, 68. I'll take that shot. No. Okay. He's on Overwatch. So, I don't want to move when I don't have to. Okay, he's down. That's the first round of Thinman. That was a great start. Let's reload everything. And move. I'll keep this guy in there. He should be relatively safe in there. Yeah, he does have cover. Or maybe I should move him over here. I'm not sure where the next group is going to arrive. And I need to be really careful with this guy. Okay, let's reload everything before we move on. I wouldn't want to run out of ammo in the middle of engagement. But that was a good start. Right. Are you done talking? Oh, right. I need to hunker down on this guy. So, let's move on then. I'll get the next group when I move with this guy. That's what it's based on. So, okay. Where do I want to position myself? This is going to be nice full cover. Or I could do it like this. Nah. I'm pretty sure the next group will be... Around here. One thing went on the roof, from what I remember. So I should reposition myself completely. Hmm. All the way here? Yeah. Let's move all the way there. I still have one flashbang grenade. So I have a feeling that's going to be very useful. There are two more groups, from what I remember. But it's been a long time since I've done... Portent mission. Not long enough. <laughs> okay. This looks like a good position. So you can stay there. We need to bring our scout. Over here. I don't think I'll get more Thinmen in the back. But again, I'm not 100% sure about that either. Let's just keep moving. Do we have any incoming? No, we don't. Right. I'll need to move my... The guy I'm, I'm escorting before I get more thin men. So let's position a rookie here. I'll keep my infantry on the roof. I'll definitely get one thin man on the roof here. I know as much. 
somewhere on the left side from what I remember. Roughly around here. On the roof. So I remember that one. That's going to be part of the last group. And what about our scout? Hmm. He can stay down here. That's fine. He does have lightning reflexes. So I might use him to trigger overwatch. If that's going to be necessary. And it might be. Okay, engineer. She still has two high explosive grenades, so I want her to be somewhere close. This is nice full cover. So she can go here. And we can start moving a little bit. But not too much. Let's go here. Okay, Overwatch. Yep, we got incoming. Oh, okay. I am still getting Thirman in the back here. Alright. Can that Thirman see the guy I'm escorting? I don't think so. So let's move the heck out of the way. Yes, yeah, so let's do that. Do I wait for that Thirman now? I think I need to kill him. I don't remember if you actually need to kill all the aliens. You usually have to kill all the aliens to complete the mission, but there are some exceptions to that rule. It's been so long since I've done this. Okay, let's reposition ourselves a bit so that three men can flank us. You can go here. And the people on the roof. Yeah, this is fine-ish. What about the rookie? This is also fine. Okay, Overwatch. He's coming. Is that the same one? Yes, that's the same one. Please kill him. Come on. More shots. No? No more shots? Is he doing anything? Yeah, we have more aliens incoming. That's a sectoid. Another thin man on the roof. And one more, I think. No? Nice one. That was a great turn right there. Okay, I still need to kill this guy in the back. So, is he on Overwatch? No, he's not. Okay. Where do I move then? I could just move back a lot more and wait for him. Wait on Overwatch? That's not a terrible idea. That might be better than trying to kill him like this. I just need to move this guy out of the way. If he dies, I lose. So... I could just hunker down. I do, don't want him to get poisoned or anything like that. He can hide inside the building. That should be safe enough. Okay, Overwatch for everyone. Did I miss anything? No, I don't think I did. Looks like the are in yes, they are coming. Commander. This is going to be the last wave, I think. So, that's one. Can we kill him? No. I'm not even mad. I had quite a few really good reaction shots. Okay, is this the last thin man? Maybe, maybe not. I might want to kill this guy. Like, right now. Yeah, I'm a little bit worried about the dude I'm escorting. So where do we move? And still... Attack here? Problem is, if I move here, the thin man could probably flank me. But I need to trigger the reaction shot. And I still want to take a shot after triggering the reaction shot. So let's do it like that. It's a shame my assault is dead. This would be a perfect moment to use running gun. So 45%, that's not bad. Okay, nice. I can move the guy I'm escorting out of the way now. What's his name anyway? Just some guy. Okay, let's take a shot from up here. Should be a really good chance to hit 72%. Please get a kill. Nice one. Okay. So, one thin man left. This is going really well. Do we just wait on Overwatch then? Oh, this guy is just named Convoy Raid Survivor. Alright. Hi, Convoy. <laughs> My name is Marbos here. Nice to meet you. Kill it. No? Come on. One more reaction shot. Nope. Oh well, he will die anyway. 
Just don't kill anyone. Okay, he's just using Overwatch, that's fine. Can our infantry see him? Yes, 74% twice. Don't mess this up. That's one hit. And come on. There we go. Right, are we done with all the thin men now? Let's reload everything, just in case we're not. I can't be 100% sure until it's done. Alright then, so... Reload. Overwatch still. Okay, I think we're actually done. But I can't be sure until it is done. So I'll keep using Overwatch. Yep, we have one more group incoming. Right. One on the roof. Shouldn't be hard with my infantry up there. He might even die right now. No, he won't. But he will die on the next turn. This is the last wave right now. I remember the three men. I think that's literally the last three men right now. Let's see now. Wouldn't mind a kill on this guy. Come on, here's your chance to maybe get a promotion. And he's down. Awesome. And he got a promotion from that shot. Perfect. Can we finish this mission? I'm in range. So, it's done. Is it? Yes, it's done. I lost two soldiers, but I actually completed portent. I'm quite happy about that. Unfortunately, some of these soldiers were fatigued. The ones I brought. Okay, 9 days, 9 days, 5 days. I thought it's going to be much worse. Sucks about the two people who died, but oh well, it happens. I completed the mission, so that gives me 50 credits. One engineer, one scientist. Now. Oh yeah, medic. Let's see. Tactical sense, smoke and mirrors, paramedic. Once per turn, this unit may use a medkit without spending an action. Oh, I like that a lot. I think I'll grab that one. Okay, grab that one. Next up, we got the infantry. So that's covering fire. And last but not least, Shane, the scout. Holo targeting. Rapid reaction is not bad, but I do like holo targeting a lot. So that was an interesting mission, to say the least. Let's have a look at our roster right now. It's not amazing. Yeah. I hope I won't get a mission in the next two or three days. I do have some soldiers incoming. Let's see if they are going to arrive there or what. Okay, I completed my research. Now what do we research next? Good question. Something that's not slow. So, sectoid autopsy? That's only 9 days. Hmm. 13 days for alien materials. I'm going to need alien materials research. 13 days is not bad, let's get started on that. So, how's my roster now? Looks a little bit better. Did I hire more soldiers or what? Yes, new soldiers arrive at XCOM HQ in one day. Foundry project is done. Satellite is ready. Now I'll probably launch the satellite over India. That's 90 credits per month. Okay. How's our roster looking now? Did they arrive or what? No, they didn't arrive yet. There we go, now they arrived. No, they didn't? They did. What was that request? Scout Sniper, Corporal. I'm not giving you free laser rifles, forget about it. Okay, this is looking much better now. 75 aim rookie, not bad. 69 aim rookie, not bad either. My rocketeer is back. Yeah, this is looking much better. I'm in a decent shape for the next mission. But I'm going to finish this part here and continue in next one. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.